sure how to celebrate Thanksgiving this year? Well, we have got you covered. We offer up some decor ideas for whichever way you want to celebrate on today's Soflo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Today we are at the beautiful Daring Estate, a historic property that is the site of numerous gatherings and events year round here in Miami. And it's also the perfect backdrop for a Thanksgiving decor show. I love the charm of this place. Today we'll show you how to add a touch of festive decor to your table, give your desserts a place of prominence, enjoy the holiday gathering outdoors, and much more. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is the way you can set up a formal dining experience for your Thanksgiving at home, kind of like a five-star restaurant. So since we are, again, keeping in smaller groups for our Thanksgiving celebrations at home, I'm gonna show you some of the rules of setting up a formal table. So when you start setting up your table, it's always nice to start with a linen. So I love cloth tablecloths. It's a great way to first either introduce a color pattern or texture. This obviously has a tone on tone pattern, which is very beautiful. And then on top of it, we've added a runner that brings in all of those gorgeous fall colors. So you've got your greens, your rust, your marigold yellows, it really brings in that true fall harvest feel. And now we've got to set up the formal place setting. So how do we do that? I know there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but this is the kind of like textbook formal dining setup that I will show you. So you're always going to start with a charger plate or a decorative plate, and that's gonna start here. Now on top of that, we will layer the salad plate. And then on top, if you are gonna be serving a soup or salad, having that bowl right on top here. And then of course, something decorative. And we're gonna show you some great options to create your own place card holders, but that's always a nice touch. I think nothing feels more special than to have your name at a place setting. It just really brings that beautiful formal aspect to any meal. And of course this turkey is adorable. So you're gonna set that place card either in front of the plate or here on the bowl, just cause it's really fun. On the left is always going to be your napkin. Now you can set it up other fun ways where people drape the napkin like this, but the, the true formal place setting will be napkin on the left and then your silverware on the left will be on the outside, your dining fork, and then on the inside, your salad fork. So you're gonna work from larger to smaller as you work in. Now on the right side, you are always gonna start with your bread and butter knife. That will be the butter knife goes here, facing in. And then again, you're gonna go from large to small. So we're gonna have our soup spoon or the tablespoon. And if you don't have soup, you don't necessarily need to add that in. And then of course, your teaspoon. So those will be on the outside. And if you are planning on doing dessert at the same table, you can also place your cake fork or dessert spoon right at the top here, horizontally over the plate. So truly having this formal dining table, I think really brings the meal to another level, but we're gonna be showing you plenty of other ways if this is not your vibe, so just stay with us. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, personalize your holiday decor with desserts and centerpieces. I'm Tat with FHIA and I've been asked a lot of questions lately about warranties. We're gonna discuss on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are here at the beautiful Deering Estate, the kitchen of the Richmond Cottage. This is uh, quite the kitchen. So many beautiful details here and I, I thought it would be a perfect place to show you guys a couple of fun ideas to create a beautiful place setting. So I'm gonna start first with the leaf place card holder, okay? And this one is super simple. You can do this on artificial leaves these are like a little bit of a wood thin wood leaf you could buy silk leaves at the craft store or you can go right outside and grab some as well they all work 
So what you're gonna do here is just a little metallic accent in copper and gold with some craft paint. And then you're gonna write with a paint pen the name of your guests. So it's just a fun way to bring a little bit of fall into your dining room and your table setting. And you know, I just thought of something fun. If you are doing the ones that are on a wood, you could write a little message on the back or what you're thankful for. So one other option I wanted to show you was a fun place card holder that you could do with the kids. It's fun for the whole family. It's easy and it is adorable. So you can make these little turkey card holders. There's a little uh, slot there so you could put your name. Super easy, again, I'd like to score the top of the corks first. If you are working with kids or working with a group, you could pre-cut all of these so it's safe. We are going to cut our feathers. So whether you're using felt or construction paper, an easy way to do this, you're actually gonna trace your fingers. So you can go with like double up a couple of layers. It's easy, it makes it faster to just cut these all out. So you're gonna trace that. And that should work just well. I really love doing Thanksgiving crafts. When I was younger, I always remember those fun things that we would do to get ready for the meal. So I think kind of getting into a project like this with your family, even though this Thanksgiving is a little different, keeps it special and a fun activity to do. Wherever the horizontal slice is, you wanna remember that you're gonna have the face of the turkey right there. So this, the place card will be centered even. So make sure that you do that. And then when you put your dots for the glue, you'll be facing the right way. So we've got the face here. Now we just have to glue the feathers on and we are ready to add the place card theme. I'm going with something about, I would say three quarters of an inch by two inches. And that's a nice size, depending on how long the names are that you are writing. And then you just start going to put this in the top like that. And now this is ready for your table. So now that we've got our place card holders and we've already talked about table settings, we're gonna do something a little sweet for desserts. But first, let's see what Tak Renata from FHIA has for us today. So this question has come up a lot lately and I've been getting emails and phone calls and when I've had the opportunity to meet with folks, they've been bringing up the idea and how important warranties are when we're discussing different hurricane impact windows and doors from different manufacturers order different ways. In order for a manufacturer to honor the warranty, the product has to be ordered to the specifications to achieve that warranty. And now, once it's delivered, it has to be installed to their specifications also to potentially meet and get their warranty. So for a consumer, we really have to have a lot of trust and confidence in the contractor we choose to not only do a great installation, especially as it relates to the Florida Building Code and our perception of the Florida Building Code, which is, as homeowners, we think if it was permitted and inspected, it was done the best way possible. Well, in reality, the Florida Building Code means if it is done, it at least has to be done to this specification. Doesn't mean it was done the best way. It means if you're, in the case of a window, if you're removing a window from your home, you at least have to do it to this minimum specification. Not the best way, minimum. And a lot of times when we're talking about warranties from a manufacturer, that minimum specification of Florida Building Code does not meet the specifications required to achieve the warranty. So a lot of homeowners that we meet with who have had projects done in the past and thought they were under warranty, unfortunately weren't because the installation team and the contractor that did the project didn't do it to the standard or the level that was required to be under the warranty. So it's a really important thing. Warranties could be really important and really valuable if chosen correctly and if done correctly with the right contractor, ordered the right way, installed the right way. It could be the best investment you ever get. Hopefully that was helpful. And again, uh, make sure education and the more you know going into the project, the better experience you're gonna have. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Ted. So now that we've learned how to properly set up the formal dining table, get into the festive spirit, add some fun Thanksgiving details. What about the best part of Thanksgiving, which to me is the desserts. So I wanted to show you guys some ideas of just setting up a dessert table. So if you are entertaining at home, and again, when I say entertaining right now, of course we know our, our groups would be much smaller, maybe it's your immediate family, but it doesn't mean that you can't set up a great dessert table like it's not a big group. <laughs> so. I think well, one of my favorite things is kind of creating that sort of 
dessert table with a little bit of everything. Adding levels is the first thing. So as you notice here, we've got different levels with all of these cakes. That gives it that sort of like bakery feel and I've grounded them with decorative placemats in a variety of autumn colors. And then I've even used some of the napkins just to kind of drape and create a little interest around the table. Of course, you could also use a tablecloth, but I like seeing the exposed wood. I actually think it's really pretty and gives it that fall vibe uh, with the rich wood tones and then accenting with the colors. It's nice to also add a little bit of a floral element. So remember, you're decorating, but you're also displaying. And a couple of other things that I thought about doing since again, this is a little bit of a different Thanksgiving. After you've displayed all of your stuff in a variety of trays and cake tins and cake plates, it's nice to also set up a coffee or tea station because you might wanna have some coffee or tea with your dessert. So I did to-go cups here, so you could maybe go for a walk or enjoy outdoors and bring your coffee or tea to go. So if you might've enjoyed a little too much turkey and all of the great Thanksgiving sides, you may wanna take your dessert on the go or save it for later. So I love having Thanksgiving themed to-go boxes for you or your guests. And then you could really enjoy a nice sweet treat a little later in the day. Coming up next, make your turkey meal memorable with a change of scenery. So if you've had some unexpected damage to your home, how do you know who to call? Is it an insurance company? Is it a public adjuster? Is it a contractor? We're here today with some answers to help you make the right decision. So we're here today with Raul Alcanero from Alcanero & Associates Public Adjusters. Raul, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. So we're here in a home today where it looks like a lot of stuff going on, some work being done. What happened here? If you wanna give us a little background on why you're here. Of course, so we got a call from this insurer about uh, three, four days ago. They walked into their house and their home was flooded with water everywhere, all the way in the living room, everywhere. After further investigation, we noticed that there was a supply line leak underneath the slab. So that caused an entire flood that of the area. That caused all the flood in the entire home, damage to the kitchen cabinets, wall, mold, etc. So you guys are working on the other side and, and what you do here to keep the property safe while the work is being done and I guess mold being remediated? That's correct. There was plenty of mold behind the wall. We discovered there was mold and now we contain it so that it doesn't spread throughout the home. We also have some equipment in place that my guys are working back there now. And th that equipment is to catch any mold spurs that are around the property and kill it so that it doesn't cause cross-contamination throughout the home. So Raul, what are some things that homeowners can look for? Are there any signs? As a matter of fact, in this property, they, went, they noticed because they walked into the house full of water, but sometimes there's a lot of signs like humidity and walls, stains here and there, a little bit of mold behind a door. Certain things that give you an indication that there could be a larger problem lurking just behind the wall or underneath the floor. In this case, uh, or any other case, you could give us a call. We have specialized equipment that can pinpoint those areas before they turn into something major as this. Bro, well, how often should homeowners maybe have an assessment of the property to see if there's any lurking damage behind the walls? Well, I, I normally make a, a correlation with how many times you see a doctor, at least once a year to have a you know, full physical inspection. Same thing, we should inspect your home at least once a year to make sure that you're, you, know, you don't have any hidden damages to prevent big damages like this one. And I wanted to point out earlier, uh, we help two types of insurers. There's actually two types of insurers. Uh, one that doesn't have time to deal with insurance companies and, and the ordeal of, of dealing of with, uh, a, a lot of headaches dealing with insurance companies. And uh, the other client is maybe you presented a claim by yourself and it was denied or it wasn't paid enough. We can help with those claims as well. Right, well, that was some great information for homeowners. And most importantly though, how do they contact you if they're thinking about getting a free assessment? Well, that's simple. Call us at 305-606-1000 or on the web, alconeroandassociates.com. Porque Alconero te consigue tu dinero. We are here at the beautiful Deering Estate sharing with you lots of fun Thanksgiving holiday ideas, and of course, I would be remiss if we did not use the gorgeous grounds as a setting for one of our Thanksgiving setups. 
I think right now Thanksgiving is a little bit different this year, but it doesn't mean we can't make it festive and fun for small gatherings with the family. So why not take your gathering outside? So what I wanted to do was show you guys a great way that you could do sort of an informal outdoor Thanksgiving, but still make it really charming and beautiful. The thought here is to make it almost like a to-go type of Thanksgiving. You may want to do it picnic style, grab some blankets or maybe a picnic table and do a beautiful setup. And as you notice, I mixed some cloth napkins just to give it a little bit of a small formal touch, but with paper plates and of course, paper cups that are Thanksgiving theme. You could still find these in stores. I thought it would be great for some soups. Pack an entire to-go meal. I, of course, decided to go with the plain table. You can use a tablecloth as well if you wanna cover the table. I did throw a runner in the center and then just sort of layer paper plates with these napkins draped. I chose to kind of focus on the fall colors, the beautiful rust and oranges, the greens, the golden yellows, and I wanted it to play off of this beautiful backdrop that's right here at Daring Estate. <laughs> I think the hay and the pumpkins and the scarecrows, you could set up a beautiful little vignette like this. Right now, everything we're doing is all about capturing the moment, sharing it on social media, so you and your family can take memorable Thanksgiving photos with a perfect backdrop as well. So don't just make it about the dining table, create a beautiful area where you can take photos for memories for years to come. These fairy lights are great for any table decor. I love them because you can basically just strew them around the center and it just gives that nice soft glow and creates a nice ambiance for enjoying your meal. I used some artificial lightweight table center pieces and of course I added a trivet for anything hot, but you really could just mix and match. So it's really all about mixing and matching. I think sort of the outdoor picnic style Thanksgiving is kind of like that boho chic type of feel. Next on SoFlo Home Project, there's no need to travel this holiday to celebrate with the entire family. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are here today at the beautiful Daring Estate a historic place that has been the site for many gatherings over the years and mainly some amazing holiday celebrations as well. So the perfect setting for us to have our Thanksgiving episode. So you may not be able to be with your loved ones this year due to everything going on with COVID, but there is plenty of ways to still celebrate and have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration, and that is the virtual Thanksgiving. This is the year of all things virtual. So first and foremost, setting up where you're gonna have your computer or phone to capture the virtual celebration is key. So if you are gonna have several family members at the table, you may want to either set your computer up on an adjacent piece of furniture in the room so you can capture everything, or if you want a closer and more intimate setting, you could set it up at the head of the table and just kind of make sure everyone is in the frame. A couple of other things that you can do to create a little bit more of a fun holiday setting to enjoy with family and friends are some games. So if you are on a large Zoom call with a lot of different relatives and friends, play some games, make it fun. There's a lot of great ideas online. I thought this virtual Thanksgiving bingo would be something that's super fun. By adding some games, perhaps even a fun Thanksgiving themed family feud, you can make it a fun celebration to remember. And lastly, since it is Thanksgiving, I thought it would be a great time for everyone to share what they're thankful for. So if you are on your virtual Thanksgiving or if you're doing it in person, having a gratitude jar or each sharing something that you are thankful for is a great way to really reflect on the season of what it's all about. So I hope that gave you guys a lot of different ideas of the ways that you could safely celebrate Thanksgiving and of course add a little flair of some nice holiday decor. And now let's see what Hunter Frankie from SoFlo Health has for us tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? Hey there, Elena. Tomorrow on SoFlo Health, we are preparing you for Thanksgiving, which is coming up in just a few days now. And we are starting with food safety. We'll move on to what the CDC thinks you should do regarding COVID. Plus, Morgan shows you how to do face pulls. Aniva talks about Qigong and learns how to do it along with you. And we're with Dr. Claudia Caprio, who's actually right next to me. And Claudia, what are you going to share with us? Yes, we're going to talk about how to immensely prepare ourselves for Thanksgiving, how to take care of yourself, as well as your family members. Yes, that's extra important this year, so we'll make sure to do that tomorrow on SoFlo Health, right here on Local 10. 
Thanks, Hunter. We'll definitely be watching because I think we're all going to indulge in some great Thanksgiving food. <laughs> and to our viewers at home, wishing you all a wonderful Thanksgiving for you and your families. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, out with the old and in with the new is the name of the game when you're getting ready for a big move or updating your home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.